Hello frequent flyers, welcome to a brief review of my Hainan Airlines 787 return flight from Beijing to Toronto. After arriving from Shanghai on the 737, I walked from Terminal 1 to 2 where all of Hainan's international flights depart. My first and only stop today is the H&A Club. Upon entering the lounge, I found myself a part at the very end where there's also a business center equipped with Apple desktops. The lounge has a very relaxing ambience with vibrant color and amazing view of the tarmac. While I was exploring the lounge, I discovered four private nap rooms that either has massage chairs and sofas inside. On top of that, there's also a shower facility available for use. I arrived at the lounge around noon hours when lunch is being served. The h and Club features a buffet-style dining on top of a a la carte menu where you can order from a tablet. Mm. The presentation and the variety of the food is impressive among all the mainland Chinese carriers that I have flown with. I noticed for all fellow flyers is that there are more than enough lounge attendants serving at the buffet area. On one hand, they deliver attentive service, but they also bring problems when it comes to filming. I was able to get away with it saying that I had special media permit. I decided to have a beef brisk soup and Chinese pancake before heading to my remote gift. I had the exact same aircraft as the one taking me from Toronto last week. A two months old Boeing 77-9 with registration of Bravo 1133. After succumbing the flights upstairs, I turned left toward my seat 19 Alpha which I assigned myself online. Alpha provides a panoramic view of the entire business class cabin as it is located in the last row. A bottle of Kivion water, hot towel and coconut juice was served when seated. Taxi promptly followed. I changed my seat from 19 Alpha to 12 Alpha since there were many passengers upgraded from economy and the security personnel who were sitting in the back section of business cars.
off to traverse and through the spectacular mountains surrounding Beijing. Lunch service begin with all the orders taken while we were underground. It was another fulfilling meal with Hayden, only this time around I didn't eat to the extent where I can't comfortably sleep. We saw the airlines that I have flown with. Hayden must be serving the largest portions of food. A sumptuous breakfast was served when I was still digesting the six course meals from seven hours ago. I spent the hour and a half after breakfast taking some naps and woke up when the cabin is prepared for landing. I would say after experiencing a round trip long haul with Hainan, they certainly qualify for Skytrax 5 stars in terms of in-flight service, seats, amenities and catering. The service with Hainan is very different than Western Airlines and even Cafe. The flight attendants are here genuinely to serve rather than simply for security purposes. You will almost never encounter an indifferent flight attendant when flying with Hainan. I had wonderful crew on all of my four flights with them. The only disappointment for me on this flight is that the Wi-Fi did not work, but the abundant entertainment selection made up for all. On this note, I would absolutely recommend Hainan if you could purchase a competitive fare like I do. It is definitely worth a try when there are limited options on non-stop flights between China and the United States consider that Hainan is superior than any other Chinese carriers. Thanks for watching, please enjoy the view on the approach into Toronto and don't forget to subscribe for more flight reviews.
and gentlemen, welcome to Toronto. We'll be arriving at Terminal 3 of Toronto Pearson International Airport. The local time is 2 o'clock in the afternoon on September 25th. Please remain seated and do not open the overhead compartment until the craft has come to a complete stop. Your check-in luggage may be claimed at luggage carriers on the rubble hall of the airport. Play your dreams, Lahan Airlines, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you and goodbye.